hungry. She's hungry, everybody. Thank you for joining us <laughs> right now on Mouthing Out. <laughs> What are you in the mood to eat? Probably going to check out um, both of my food vendors, actually. Pure Heat and um, Lick Your Fingers by Shanae Nicole. Lick Your Fingers. Out. She got Soul Food. Soul Food, and what's the other one? What are they, sir? Pure Heat, they have grilled food right now. Corn, wings, shrimp. Sounds good. Woo, dang, I should have came here. I, I ate a little Caesar's pizza. Little Caesar's pizza. Man, you could have been eating black on, but look. I know. Let's talk about it. What what else is here? What what we got going on here today on Halloween? Halloween weekend. Why you knocked that down? He's supposed to be knocked down. Look, he got a black eye. They jumped his ass. <laughs> See, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what you mean? Yeah, we have um, a lot of vendors out today. We have a uh, lemonade vendor, um, apparel. Um, if you went to Johnson C. Smith, we have some Smith apparel. Uh, two food vendors, sponsored by K2O Water. Um, drink your, drink drink your, your motherfucking water. 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 Goddamn. <laughs> Drink your water. Yo, motherfucking water. Yeah. I'm about to go get me some right now as my mouth's dry. <laughs> so this is what number in the series of Trap Saturday? This is the third one. This is season of season finale, so we're bringing it back in spring, April, in April. It's a long time. We got some more Trap and Shop events coming up real soon, especially for artists. Artists tap in. Yeah, y'all. Coming soon. Stay tapped into the Trap and Shop brand, the Trap and Shop everything, the trap, the trap, 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 everything. <laughs> what are some other uh, vendors that are? Um, what else? Who else do we have here? Kush Cartel. Um, she's a new vendor. She has like. Cannabis cosmetic products. So definitely tap in with her. That's new. That's different. Yeah, we got uh, Reup with Lit. They have like um, custom culture apparel, lighters, um, pretty much anything you need printed, they could probably do for you. We have. Let's talk about the uh, brand you got on right now. Can we? Yeah. Come on, you got to show them what it looked like. Oh, you want me to? Yeah, good and evil. Got the little angel with the um the devil uh and then the, good and evil. Yeah. And then I have on my um a Santa apparel. A Santa apparel. They're not here today, but there was one of my yeah, I got the socks on. So shout out to them. Yep. <laughs> it's always a pleasure to have you here. Go ahead and drop your social media so they know how to find you. Uh, my personal social media is Chonwick underscore. That's C H O N W I C K underscore. And then um, Trap and Shop is just at Trap the letter N Shop. So next year when you bring it back, what are have you been thinking about some different things you're going to implement or do to make it bigger? Definitely, um, definitely. For one, finding a, a larger location to have more vendors because a lot of vendors hit me up they couldn't be a part of it because I ran out of slots but I'm definitely working on finding something that's bigger and more consistent so people can just know this is a spot where you go and shop black have you ever thought about like um you know where like the flea market is on um by Pine Vermont no, no. it's a big ass flea market but it's just got like tables maybe you should like Rent out that whole bitch and then just. I'm open to it. I'm open to it. Just have to support Chapman Shop so I'm able to, you know. Do oh, yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. They're going to tap donate, in. Donate. Come invest. You know, never know. I'm shop black. Do whatever you need to do so we can keep this going. We got to keep circulating the black dollar. What, what made you get into this? I wanted to do something for other entrepreneurs, other black entrepreneurs like myself. Um, so I decided to, to take a different route with this and add the culture piece um, because I am 
really into the culture, the trap culture, and just redefining what it means. To me, it's, it represents black entrepreneurship and just like getting it done by all means necessary, pretty much. So that's how I started. What are some of your what are some of your setbacks in, in, in your life? What are some of your setbacks in uh, your life so far? Setbacks, I would say, um, when I first decided to get to work for myself, um, I probably went the wrong path. Like, as far as, you know, going full-time um, entrepreneur. But I did learn a lot in that time, that time period, enough for me to take those skills and kind of like go 10 times harder moving forward so I have a lot of great ideas um, that I'm implementing so just stay tuned what are some of your major accomplishments graduating college um, my first generation so I graduated with honors Winston to Salem State University so Ram um, accomplishments just stepping out on faith and working for myself that's a, a huge accomplishment huge. um this event i mean i pretty much planned it i funded it myself i organized it i did a graphic design for it miss independent no i'm just getting it done <laughs> i'm just getting it done so this was a um a great accomplishment this just this, this event itself um a lot of people say you know Thank you so much for the opportunity, and they really enjoyed the experience, so. Go ahead and drop your social media one more time so they know how to find you, and then we'll get out of here. Chonwick underscore is my personal. Trap and Shop, the event um, that we're having today, just follow Trap and Shop. Trap, and the letter N, shop. Have you ever played our game called Box of Unanswered Questions? Called what? Box of Unanswered Questions. Nah, I'm scared to play that game. <laughs> we about to play it real quick. Three questions. Okay, box of unanswered questions. I don't actually have a box, so I usually act out a box. Okay? So now I hand the box to you. You pick up the box. You got to shake the box. Okay, I'm shaking it. So now we set the box down. We pick out a question. Okay. Now you hand me the question. All right, first question. Are you ready? From the box of unanswered questions. This is a, so a lot of celebrities have weighed in on this topic, this question, to give their opinion. You ready? Is the earth flat or round? Oh, you don't want to ask me that. I got my whole theory on this. So, the earth, I think we're in a globe. I don't think, I don't. Okay, go ahead. a globe, but a dome. I think okay. we're in a dome. Like, I don't think that the, the earth is round. I think we're like. Flat. And yeah. I mean, just like, just walk outside and look up. Like, I think we're in a, a, a dome. Like, you can see it. Interesting. You can see it. Like, it looks like we're So, you're not a flat. I mean, it's not a flat earth. That's a flat earth. You're a flat I guess. That keeps, dang, really? So, like, you don't think it's a ball? You don't think it's a, what if it's a square? No, I'm just kidding. I think we're on a, some type of flat surface. Why can't it be a ball? I mean, it could, but just be logical. Like you can, logically, we're not in a. I don't. I don't think we're. Okay, so logically, how are we in that goddamn snow snow globe? When what you mean a snow a snow globe? Snow globe, but a dome. A dome, same because thing. Because it's like we're flat, right? And then you flat, have, or are we round? I think we're, flat. we're just small, so it looks like we're. I think we're on a big piece of matter, and then there's a dome. That. Okay. So what do you say about China? They're on the opposite side of us. Do you think they're actually on the opposite side of us? Or you think you're saying they're all the way over here? Yeah. So you think the world goes in a circle? S spherical. Okay, explain your theory. Okay, you want me to shut down everything? <laughs> you ready? <laughs> okay. So, like people say, we can't trust the footage they give us, right? Could be faked can't trust the pictures we got photoshop all of that but we can trust our own eyes right yeah okay so what we can do is they have these things called telescopes right so we have a telescope that can look out into space right 
So there are nine other planets, all of these other planets around, which we can look at. So why would our one planet out of all the other planets? I get what you're saying. B, I get, I get what you're saying, but to me, it's so why? It seems as if we're in a dome. I feel what we could be in a spherical Earth with a, another invisible thing right. around it. If we're in a, if we're in a sphere, right? Like, what's holding us? Gravity. Okay, but so what? Uh, I think we're flat. That's what I'm sticking to. I think we're. Woo, my, you are my first flat earther. F f dome flat earther. Out of the box. Maybe. Is it possible that we, we are on a Maybe. You are. You are right. So. Next question. Back in the box. We're shaking the box. I gotta take a phone. No, I'm just kidding. Go. If you want to, go ahead. You want to? Um, I think they're trying to find a way to set up. Did you find it okay? Here? Yeah. Yeah, the only thing is, is I usually come through that way, and it tells you to go to a, the alternate entrance. So if you don't know to go around. I'm gonna answer one more question. All right, I'm checking the box, put it down. <laughs> Do you know what a parkway is? A what? Parkway. A parkway, yeah. Just explain it. That's not the question. I just wanna make sure everybody else knows what it is. Because a lot of people don't know what it is. They think it's a driveway. Yeah, so, so it's like in between a freeway and a road. A parkway. You want me to explain it? No, I just explained it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's the question. Why do we drive on parkways but park in driveways? I don't know. <laughs> Why do we drive on parkways but park in driveways? Because you have to drive. You have to drive into a driveway. And you have to. We got a park on a parkway. That's. <laughs> that's what you're about to say. We got a park on a parkway. You got to drive and park in a driveway, but on a parkway you got to. Park and then drive. Park, park and then drive. I don't know. Uh, I'll probably give you like half a point for that. Usually we have judges and I ask them, but I give you half a point for that. Okay, and last question, very quickly. You don't have to shake the box out. They're calling. Never mind. Go ahead. Go get your money. Got get your money. Take care of your business. It was nice having you. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Adrian Nice. Welcome to another episode of Mouthing Out. Right now, we are at Camp North End in Charlotte, North Carolina, um, at the Trap Saturdays vendor event hosted, uh, sponsored by K2O Water. Right now, I'm here with... Brazil. Brazil. With two L's. <laughs> with two L's. <laughs> How you doing today, man? Uh, chilling, man. It's a good event. Everybody out here got their stuff. It feels great. They said it was supposed to rain, but it's not raining. So if it, yeah, it's definitely the opposite. <laughs> kind of hot. Actually. It's really hot. I'm about to come out of this coat, but I look too good right now. But yeah, man, it's it's real good out here. We got our vent. We having our vent out here. We got our clothes out here. Um, it's called Aji Apparel. Spell that. O J I I, Aji Apparel. Um, it feels good out here, man. It feels good to finally be on Mouthing Out. <laughs> yeah. For a long time to be on Mouth and Out, but um, yeah, yeah, it feels really good to be on That's good. We're glad to have you, man. So I've known you for a while. You know, you've been um, doing big things, always on the grind, always just with an ambitious mentality. Um, 
what finally made? Because I remember I've heard I've heard you in the past talk about clothing, cl- starting a clothing line. Um, what finally made you take the jump to actually start it and do? Man, I ain't gonna lie. I've been playing for so long. Like we known each other since we was little, and I've been talking about this for so long. But like, I ain't gonna take no credit. Like it was my girl. <laughs> you think she gave you the push? The push? Bruh, like. Within within like a week or so, like she signed up for the LLC. She did everything, so it was it was my girl. You know what I'm saying? And like after we did that, uh, we came up with the name. We start coming out with designs. We start making moves, and then it kind of just it just took off all of a sudden. Like the clothing line just took off, and we start. You know what I'm saying? No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> where that be go? I can't do it. Uh, yeah, yeah, the clothing line just took off, and now, you know, like, we're we making really big moves, and um, the website is up, shopaji.com, and, and like, we're getting a lot of orders on shopaji as well, so it's just less, uh, a couple months. It's been out for a couple months, but, like, we're doing real big. Let's talk about some of your designs. Um, I see you have a hat on right now, which is a big design. Let's talk about some of them. Uh, okay, so the hat... Uh, shirt as well, make Mel the great. Yeah, make Mel the great again. Um, it's self-explanatory. Uh, what does melanin mean? For those of y'all that don't know what melanin is, because I know a lot of people don't, it's basically us. The pigmentation in your skin. That's what melanin is. So, um, of course, we hear uh, make America great again. But at the, but at the end of the day, you know, this belongs to us. So it's, it's make melanin great again. Um, th- this one of the shirts. We got another shirt um, called "I Love Black Women." Uh, we got another shirt that uh, my girl came up with the design called "Pretty for Pretty for a Black Girl," and we just released this project. Um, it's called "Not a Threat," and you know nowadays uh, in the world that we're living in, a lot of people see us as threats. They see black men as threats. So facts. So so this "Not a Threat" project is really pushing that. You know. You see me out, you see me out working, you see me in the car, you see me at the store, just know that I'm not a threat. I'm not a threat to you just because the pigmentation of my skin, just because the melanin in my skin, I'm not a threat. My color does not make me a threat. My size, everything, it does not make me a threat. So that's the new project that we pushing. Um, It's actually on the website right now, so y'all can go check that out as well. Okay, I like it. I like your passion, your passion for this. No, nah, but that is a big issue in the black community and that uh, not just in the United States or not in, you know, the South. It's all across the nation, all across the world. You know, um, we get we get what's the right word I'm looking like. Uh, we get we get uh, them st- stereotyped. We get stereotyped and judged um, every day of our life. Um, what's next for your clothing brand? Uh, well, right now, what we're really doing is uh, we pushing, we pushing not a threat. Um, we're pushing that hard because we're trying to start a movement with it. Because, of course, that's, that's what we want everybody to know. Like, we shouldn't be scared when we go out not knowing that we're going to come back the next day. You know what I'm saying? Not knowing we're going to see our brothers, our uncles, our fathers. You know, like, it shouldn't be like that. So we're really going to push that not a threat. And that's going to go, we're going to push that for a minute, maybe going out for the rest of the year. That's what we're going to push. Um, along with our other clothing as well, we do got Make Melton the Great again, so we're going to be pushing that. Uh, we're about to do a 1K giveaway, so whenever we get to, um, of course, we just started. So whenever we get to 1,000 followers, you know, we might give out some free merch, might give out some money. You know, you don't know, you don't know what we're going to do. How close are you to 1K? Uh, but we got like 700 to go. Like I said, we just started, but we're going to do a 1K giveaway. We're going to do a 5K giveaway. Uh, we're going to do 10K. We're going to do 50K. Every time every time the state's going to go up. Every time we're going to give out more money, give out more clothes. You know, I don't know what we're going to do. I might give out a car. You feel me? Yeah. A car. Might give out an Xbox. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I ain't giving out all that. But, it, <laughs> you know, like, yeah, man, we're going we gonna to do it like that. You know, our clothing line is for the people. What um What is your best-selling product? Um, on your store, uh, best best selling project right now, of course, is uh, the Make Melon the Great Again. Um, Stand up a little, just so I can get. Yeah, there you go. Uh, originally, uh, back in 2018, I don't know if you remember, I first came out with the hat. I came out with the hat, Make Melon the Great Again. It was just an idea, and 
with the hat. All I had was the hat. And I remember the first week I had the hat, I had like 30 hats. I sold out of all of them. I remember because I had to pay rent. I had to pay rent. Me and my brother had to pay rent. And I sold the hats for like $30. And I'm, you know, I was, oh, hustle it. I was promoting parties as well. So I would wear my hats to the clubs. And everybody was like, wait, what's your hat say? Bro, I know you ain't sell out. <laughs> and they will see the Mega Melon the Great again. I would, exp I would explain the cause, explain the meeting. After I explained the meeting, they'd be like, oh, and then boom, sold them. Right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Chilling, man. What y'all out doing? What you do? Okay, come back, get an interview, bro. Yeah, that's my homie. Uh, <laughs> that was one of my homies, you know. Yeah, what's his name? Uh, 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 damn, what is? Uh, I forgot. But you'll yeah. come back and. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying, the um. The Make Melon Great Again, that's what really pushed me with the clothes, you know. I saw I made like four or five hundred dollars in one week on um, just selling the hats. I was I just hopped in the car and I was traveling. I was doing Uber selling hats. <laughs> doing Uber selling hats. People getting the back. Hope you guys enjoy your ride. Hey yo, what about this hat? <laughs> exactly, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Doing Uber selling hats everywhere I can go. Go to the mall. Um, you know what I'm saying? Because I made the mistake of when we started doing this, wanting to do everything offline and forgetting that it's the footwork. Yeah, that's a whole different world. You know, it's a virtual world. We, we gotta forget, can't forget about the physical world. Yeah, every, everybody forget, they forget the footwork that you got to put in, you know, that hustle. I know you put in the footwork. I see you put in the footwork. You got to be out here in these streets talking to people. In people's faces. Yeah, because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, you could be online and talk to somebody all day, but it's nothing like word of mouth. It's nothing like being in somebody's face and be like, hey, yo, this is what I got. What's up? How you doing, man? Whatever. Like, I like your presence. I'm feeling, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's nothing like that. So, you know, it, this this know that we taking over. Like, I'm going to say it like this. I don't care if you rap, sing, dance, whatever, clothes. Like, we well, take that back. Put it like this. <laughs> Rewind. Look, no, no. Here's the thing. I'm very, I'm very passionate about what I talk about. Charlotte, right now, Charlotte is on the move. Definitely. And I feel like, as Charlotte, we've had this problem to where Charlotte, a lot, it's so much competition. Nobody want to see each other grow. Nobody wants to see each other grow. It's just competition. Everywhere everywhere else you go, people trying to help each other go up, help each other grow. And in Charlotte, a lot of people's not doing that. But I feel like now it's coming to a time where events like these is causing people to come together. It's like a big melting pot, and everybody's starting to help everybody go. Facts. So you, you, you see the artists starting to come out. You see the clothes starting to come out. Uh, the black businesses are starting to thrive, and that's good, and I love to see that. So things like this, like, I love it. I love it. I hope they do something like this every month. We need stuff like this every month. You know, podcasts. We need more podcast stuff that's just getting... TV show, talk show. TV show, mouthing out, you know what I'm saying? Like, go ahead, go to YouTube. What's the YouTube? Mouthingout.com. Mouthingout.com. See, I'm helping here. And we got a we got an app coming soon, but no. got an app coming soon on Apple. I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, th that's it. That's just what I want to see. I want to see us grow as people. You know what I'm saying? I want to see black people support black people at the end of the day. I agree with you 100. percent I love your mentality. I like what y'all are doing. I like the impactful phrases. Gets people thinking. You know, it's not the cliche design. The the one design that they make twenty different colors and try to sell <laughs> to support their whole business or whatever the case may be. That's dope, man. Um, um, okay. So what I need from you is your social media. Give me your social media, and then we'll wrap it up here. Your personal and uh, the one for the brand. Okay, my personal um, Instagram is V Brazil V V B R A Z I L L with two L's V. Um, clothing line is Shop Aji S H O P O J I I Shop Aji. The website is www.shopaji.com. You got all of our merch there, and also look out for our luxury line that we about to come up with because we more than prints. We're coming out with an actual luxury line that people can wear clothing, people can get fly, get your clothes, go to the club, do whatever you want to do. But yeah, that's it. I know I talk a lot. You know what I'm saying? You looking at me? Like, we 
we here for, nah, it's the sun actually, but we here for it. Right. Talk show. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, yeah, go ahead, follow us. You know, we're gonna do it like that. All right, guys, this is Adrian Nice Mouthing Out, and we out. Peace. We're going to hold it up during the interview. All right. <clears throat> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Adrian Nice. Welcome to another episode of Mouthing Out. Right now, we're up here at Camp North End, Trap Saturday's vendor event. Right now, I'm here with... Lex Bibbs. How you doing, man? In the building. I'm good, bro. Chilling. Glad to see you out here. For sure. For sure. Happy to be here. So what brings you out here? Man, I'm just trying to expand my brand, man. I started a brand uh, six years ago called Smith Merch. Uh, saw the opportunity on Instagram, and um, you know, I just wanted to expand and be a part of a pop-up. And normally, I get sales online, but I just wanted to try something different today. Got you. Um, so Smith Merch, does that have anything to do with <laughs> the school? So yeah, so I, I'm a graduate of Johnson C. Smith, proud graduate of Johnson C. Smith. I'm not from here. I'm from D.C. The school changed my life. We call it we call it Smith. And so one day, six years ago, I had this bright idea. I was like, let me put Smith on a shirt. And the rest is history, bro. I didn't create a whole line out of it. I got soccer jerseys, hockey jerseys, hockey jerseys, this hat. And here lately, I created this piece right here, keep the money on the Ford. Hold it up, Connor, so they can yeah, see it. Yeah, with, with everything going on in the community, okay. bro. You know what I'm saying? We talk about recycling the black dollar. So basically, this is my idea of us uh, exchanging with each other, kind of what we're doing out here today, exactly what we're doing out here today. Yeah. That's dope. So on the back are, like, businesses on the back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh, one of the ones that didn't come out too good. But this is um, 52 businesses or services, people that went to Johnson C. Smith. So I'm featuring them. So giving them a platform, you know what I'm saying? So, again, we got to recycle the black dollar. We got to support each other. So you see the hundo going out, but you also see a business card coming in. So it's an exchange, you know what I mean? Dope. Um, what's your ultimate goal for your brand, your clothing line? Uh, End goal, ultimate vision, where would you So like? right now, I'll say the goal right now is to try to get the school to rebrand the logo. So you see that helmet over there I created, or this hat I got on. I created this bull. It's a more modern bull. What's the logo look like now? Is it just it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot older. It looks kind of like the Switch malt liquor. You know what I'm saying? But this is more modern. It's, it says 2020, and I feel like it speaks to the younger people. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. You designed that? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. So that's the goal, to, to get the school to... I mean, we've already had talks, but I want to get them to rebrand and let me come to the table and make some cool merch for the school. What has your feedback been since you launched your line um, from your customers, the school, just everybody? Man, it's been 50-50, man. Um, it's been 50-50. Some people love it. Some people hate it. You know what I'm saying? But like my pops told me, man, if you're not ready to be successful if you can't deal with criticism. So I, I, I accept all of it, man. I accept the, the positive and the negative. You feel me? That's dope, man. Um, what is your top selling product within your um top selling product will probably when I do my Black History Month stuff, but that stuff go crazy. I don't have anything out here with me right now, but the Black History Month stuff go crazy. I do like these crazy designs. It's stupid, but keep the money on the forward has been solid. The soccer jerseys, the hockey jerseys and all that stuff, you know what I mean? You design all your stuff? I do. Yourself? Yes sir. Do you have a graphics background like you went to school for or did you start? So Basically, I have a, a, like everybody, I have, you know, a vision, and I, I, I go back and forth with my guy, and we come up with it together. That's dope. Yeah. It's really dope, man. Um, okay, so I have this segment called One Piece of Advice. What i like for you to do is give one piece of advice to all the, um, woo, I'm going to have to, it was a bee about a crawling beard, bro. I had to save you real quick. <laughs> but um, uh, one piece of advice to all the, um, uh, young entrepreneurs trying to jump out, jump off the porch and get started with their business? 
Don't be afraid to take the first step, man. All, all great journeys start with the first one step. You know what I'm saying? I think so much of what we do is we try to get ahead too fast. Now take one step. My brand six years ago started with one simple T-shirt, and now I have tons of items, bro. You know what I'm saying? I got like 20 items over there right now. That's dope. Have you thought of um, expanding and maybe uh, uh, designing for some of the other schools, HBCUs, et cetera, et cetera? Uh, people ask me all the time, but this is authentic, man. You know, I don't know other schools. I don't know Fayetteville. I don't know Winston, but I know my school, and I'm connected Back. to my school. That's authentic. Okay, man. What's the social media, your personal and uh, the one for your line? Hit me on my uh, on my Instagram, at Lex Bibbs, L-E-X-B-I-B-B-S on the gram. Smithmerch.com, S-M-I-F-F-M-E-R-C-H.com. All right, guys, this is Adrian Nice mouthing out, and we're out. Peace. Appreciate you, bro. All right. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Adrian Nice. Welcome to an episode of Mouth and Out. Right now, I'm here with Tino704. Tino704 in the building, bro. So, what brings you out here today? Oh, uh, man, we just representing the Combined Culture Clothing, man. The clothing line we started in uh, 2011. Just came out to show some love. Culture. Culture. Strong word. Culture, exactly. And it's not spelt the regular way, just yeah, so y'all know. Exactly. Yeah. Um, what made you come up with, you know, saying it like this, culture? Uh, well, I just actually threw the K in it just to be different. And then we started doing the abbreviation, that, you know what I mean, to make it look a little better on the, on the clothes. Well, I'm, I guess what I'm saying is, like, what made you choose the word culture? Like, it could have been any word, you know what I'm saying? Why culture? Well, to begin, the real name, the, the, the full name is Combined Culture Clothing. Basically, what we're saying is we all come from different cultures, but we're all the same. You see what I'm saying? That's why it's got different 
Okay, I get it, I get it. Get the finish, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, and that's why we got the different colors, and that's why it's combined. That's dope. Um, how long have y'all been running? Uh, we started in 2011. 2011? Yeah, yeah, 2011. And um, so what made you want to jump into, like, clothing or the brand and everything like that? Uh, with the clothing, I've always been addicted to fashion myself. You know what I mean? That From the beginning. Anybody that know me know that. So it's always been a dream of mine to actually have my own line. And so now we're making it happen. We're making it happen. You said 2011? 2011. Woo, that's, what, like, nine years? We've been putting some hard work in, brother. Has it always been this, um, I guess, has culture always looked this way, the word culture, or was it designed different before? We actually we actually changed the design. We just changed the design maybe about two years ago. And what made that, what choice, what did that choice drop? Just changing with the times and, and considering what everything is going on right now. Yeah, and I wanted everybody to understand it. You see how you caught on. Yeah, you, yeah it, it ain't take long. Yeah, it don't take long. It don't take um, long. What's your ultimate goal and like vision for your brand? The ultimate goal for our brand is to make it a hundred million dollar company. You see what I'm saying? And, and, and have it etched in stone for our kids and our grandkids. Yeah, generational wealth. <laughs> That's dope. That's dope, man. What has the feedback been from your consumers, your customers about your brand and just your business? I oh, mean, the response has been crazy. Like I say, today we, we pretty much probably sell out. Yeah, the response has been crazy. So we, we've been doing pretty good. I mean, the city the city behind us. You um, you guys got a website, right? Absolutely. The website. Okay. The website, the IG, all on one page. Um, and so being that you have a website, how has... Um, COVID affected the way you move because you haven't been able or there hasn't been as many events like this. This is our first time coming out for COVID. We actually we actually was on the fence about it. This is our first time coming out, but actually the website been doing better since COVID. Yeah, it's, it, so it's been a gift and a curse. Dang, so that, dang, that's dope that you had a uh, or it's clutch that you had a website, you know, because <laughs> y'all y'all ain't had a website. Right, we're we we in the dirt, but um, yeah, man. Like I said, we definitely appreciate the city for showing up for us all the time. So how we'll end this interview is I have this segment called One Piece of Advice. So what I like for you to do is give one piece of advice to the up and coming um, entrepreneurs wanting to start their own clothing brand. Well, I can't only I can't give you one. I can give you two. Keep God first and stay down till you come up. Stay down till you come up. Keep God first. Y'all heard it here first. Adrian, nice, mouthing out, and we out. Peace. Appreciate you, bro.
What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Adrian Nice. We are back from commercial break. Right now, I'm here with... S. Tudor. S. Tudor in the building. Uh, one of... How many? <laughs> Matt Crew. I'm just going to say one <laughs> member from Matt Crew. Yeah, member of the Matt Crew, MKM. You already know what's going on. Um, so, what's new for you, bro? What bring? Well, first, what brings you out here? I mean, we're doing the trapping shop. You know what I'm saying? Trap City Saturdays. You know, just connecting the culture. You know, trying to build a black brands up in charlotte and connect everybody to the ones that they never met yet in the city that are local you know that's pretty much what i'm out here doing interviewing them showcasing them you know we vibing and then so what's new for you what's new for you since our last uh interview i mean what's new we've been working you know we got new music coming out new merch coming out mk merch you know we you know this is the new one right here the new sweater that's coming out for the uh fire Appreciate you know money green you know it's everything about making money out here <laughs> but yeah we got that coming out uh, new music like I said merch uh, this is the last Trap City Saturdays for the year so you know just stay tuned for 2021 for what we got coming up next with a uh, trapping shop any new music oh yeah new music is coming it's it's on the way just be on the look out I swear just follow and you gonna are you gonna miss it you you gonna miss it if you don't catch it <laughs> have we gotten any new songs 2020 this year. Oh yeah, it's been a yeah. We of course we don't stop working. What's the latest one? The latest one. I mean, they not they not names. So I'm gonna say Untitled One because that's the one I just did last night. <laughs> but I'm saying like released. Oh released. Yeah, the newest released one. Oh, the newest release is gonna be uh, some Twenty Six Trees, The Long Way. Uh, check that out on Spotify, SoundCloud. Uh, you know, Illy Steve's got some new music coming out. I got some some stuff coming out on his beats. You know, 
it's just coming like temptations out right now slide out on soundcloud spotify just check the page like there's new releases all the time on it Dope, and i know you have a um you you'll have a commercial for your clothing line dropping soon um what are your plans as far as like promo for that uh pretty much try to touch everybody get everybody to see it you know if you haven't seen the m crew i don't i don't know where you've been at you know this when you see it but if you hadn't seen it before Hey, we're just trying to touch the ones who ain't seen it before and make it go, you know, go make it go big, go everywhere. What's your ultimate goal for your, um, first for your music career, then your um, clothing? Or is your clothing an asset to your music career? Uh, I mean, we got to wear clothes every day, so I mean, it's going to be there regardless because I'm a drip. I got the drip, I started the drip, I wear my own drip, so as long as I'm here, I'm going to be wearing my own stuff, so the merch is going to go as far as y'all take it <laughs> and the music the same way like i've been doing it forever so it's not something that like it's not really goes with it it's just getting better at the music and you know putting it out to the people more like i'm not gonna i record we record all the time every day we in the studio y'all see us in the studio all the time so it's like we're just gonna keep doing what we're doing until everybody here facts Okay, and it's going to come. It's going to come. Yeah, Consistency right. is key. It's going to come. Um, 2021. What's happening in 2021? Is there plans for anything major 2021? or 2021, that's going to be that's gonna be the biggest year. Hey, that's going to be the biggest year. You ain't watching. You're going to miss it. Okay, y'all stay tapped in with them. Um, go ahead and drop your social media, and then we'll get out of here. Uh, S to the always getting to it. Follow me on Instagram, S underscore number two, D A, Twitter, to the MKM. Follow the merch, MK Merch, MKMerch.org. Y'all go get this new drip. It's a whole lot coming out. We're going to dress the whole city if you're ready to get stripped up. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. All right, guys. Um, we're about to get out of here. This is Adrian Nice Mouthing Out, and we out. Peace.